Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Star Drive Let's Play. Um, now, between the last episode and this one, I've gone back and I've taken a look at kind of what I've done throughout the game. And as you can see, I've kind of played through it, but I didn't save it, so this is our last save. And, um... I kind of looked through it, kind of realized we don't have the forces to take on the cruiser yet. So, and also it's kind of been blah, it's for a better term. So it's, it's kind of been slow going for the first couple episodes. So what we're going to do is, when we have these kind of slow spells, we're going to go, we're going to kind of speed up the game. Now, I don't like doing this because it kind of takes away from the being able to micromanage and stuff. Um, but, yeah, we're going to kind of try and use it. Now, for some reason... Oh, yeah, I have First Fleet rallied over here. I, I kind of forgot about that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to speed it up a bit. And we are going to also re um, reorganize some of our. Actually, not that. We're going to reorganize some of our planets to do some different things. Now, this planet here is building F302s. So we're going to speed those up as fast as possible. And as soon as this one is done. We're going to switch him from a core to a research. Because I want to kind of pick up... Just because it, it kind of gives them a boost, because they haven't actually researched it. But, like, open border treaties, it, it does help with my money, with my bottom line, essentially. Um, but now I just, just change this to research, so it should be trying to pump out more research than food, but, I mean, it still needs to produce food, so, you know. Um, now I know my fleet is kind of lacking just because it has, um, it only has about 20, or not even 15, it has 15 ships. So we're going to add a few more, and like, now, I'm going to add these, it's not going to take too much, Earth's going to build them, so it'll go pretty fast. Um, what else do we have? We have ore yields, which is at about 1.4 right now, so it's about 10% of what we need it to be, but that's going to pick up. Um, now that production's done, so it's gonna build the warehouse quicker, it's gonna build the aeroponic farm, it's gonna get food up, so it won't have to rely on a lot of different stuff. Um, also, we are going into 4x for a little bit, um, <clears throat> at least until we get our research, mostly because the research is kind of what's gonna slow down um, <clears throat> the next couple episodes. So, all the ships are built for uh, our first fleet. A new race now with the Raleigh and the Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah, I think it's the Raleigh. Raleigh Devoted. I'm always bad at these with their game names. Um, these kind of are the what have been playing with the Cthulhu race almost. Um, most of the Elder God thing and like the Tentacles thing. Yeah. Um, so we're also going to switch Earth to research. Oh, and we have Hyperspace Flux. Luckily, we have no ships moving besides our 8th fleet, which is just these four ships. Um, once the research... Um, once, once the Scientific Foundation's research actually finishes, we are going to switch... Oh, actually, that finished pretty quickly. It's actually one of the shorter... Uh, I'm sitting there. No, you can go figure it out yourself. I'm not going to be the one that hands down all the, the fun toys and such. Um, 
Now, I do really want to take Ariel's because it's got it's decent planet right now, and now scientific research is done. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna actually pause it, slow it down. All my planets should be building the research lab. I'm gonna just dump everything to Earth's. And from Earth, I'm going to build four more jump freighters just because I kind of need them. Um, now, I do this before adding them to the fleet because when I was testing out. I was testing out like where I would go next with the game and how to kind of speed this up to get more into it for you folks. Um, I kind of figured out that putting him in the fleet is kind of a pain in the ass. Putting him in the fleet, having him build to the fleet, it kind of glitches out the whole select what they're doing thing. Like how you can select these and send them to transport food or transport people or whatever um it's kind of a pain in the ass to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set them to people um i like to transport a lot more people than i do production and food because once a once a colony gets up to full population it doesn't really need me to have um, transportation or it doesn't need to have all that research and stuff um, given to it, essentially. Um, now, I know Oriolds is working pretty hard, and it's still set at core, because I want it to kind of build its, sit, um, build its baseline economy up, basically. Now, I'm going to train a new guy, because I have the cash to do that. Um, now we're not really gonna, I know I keep going back to this research because I'm waiting for this research in the Corvette hull because those are going to be the ships that allow us to take out that uh, cruiser. Um, before we jump back into that one, however, I'm going to research point defense and shields. And then frigates. Oh, actually, no, sorry. Uh, armor theory. Uh, shields is going to be later, so our, our higher frigates are going to have. Um, sh I think our higher frigates are going to have shields, and then. But mostly our frigates are going to be armor based. So. We want that armor theory first. <clears throat> now, this guy is still seeking a route. People, people, and you are going to be treated. Now we're going to speed it up again. Because we're still waiting for this research to finish, which is about to. And then we are going to so magnetic artillery, so we get the rail guns, which is going to be our, a, bi a big part of our ships for the next little while. Um, except for, of course, our fighters, because they can't fit the rail gun. Um... <clears throat> I mean, they uh, can they? I don't think they can. No, because they actually need three um, outer slots, so that's going to be an issue. But, uh, so we're just waiting for our Corvette hull research to finish. All of our guys, and we actually have a guy, uh, Potter Bell, who's top level, um, maximum age level is 10, which... It's fantastic. Um, so we have our top guy. I'm actually going to send him after the Raleigh and try to steal tech because if you steal, if you try to steal tech from a race, um, it, it gives you tech, but it tends to piss them off. And I mean, not that I want to piss them off, but I want to get as much research as I can, and unfortunately the Raleigh Devoted are the current leaders in research. Also, I only have one scout, which is a problem because I still have a race I have to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Earth, because they're just building the transports. 
And I'm actually I'm going to go to and I'm going to go Hamat. Now the research lab is building. I can't build any more of those. So what we're going to do is we're just going to. Oh, so our Corvette Hell research is done. So we're gonna go pause it real quick. Go to our empire. Um, make this core again. Oops, did not want to do that. Double click that. Research core. And now we're gonna go into a little bit of ship design for our Corvettes as soon as I get. So that's still seeking a route. I don't know why those are still seeking roots. That kind of seems to me like a glitch. Uh, I'm gonna build three more of those. Uh, shorten that. And I'm gonna go into our shipyard and build our first Corvette. Now, as you research the different uh, hulls and weapons and different kind of systems, you unlock um, pre built uh, hulls and setups for these ships. Um, so this is the flat Corvette, which is basically ordnance based, just fires off these guns and whatnot. It's basically to take out fighters and missiles. Uh, now I have the rocket Corvette, which is basically do a lot of damage to the bigger ships with a little bit of uh, fighter and missile protection. And this one's the, uh, what the hell did they call it? Terran attack bomber. This is basically to if a race has a colony set up of people, they just they basically have a real colony. To take over the colony, you essentially need to blow it up. So that's what these nukes are for. Uh, now this uses the small reactors. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load the rocket Corvette. And I'm going to change it slightly. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to delete that, delete that, delete that. I'm going to delete a lot of the core stuff that it's given to put in. Where is our railgun? At the front. Because that that's what we need the most of. Uh, we have our railguns on the side. What we're going to do is we're going to right here. Oops, I did not want to take away the missiles. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Uh, it's weird that the delete is the right click button because I have a tendency to really to click that button a lot. Um, I'm going to replace those with warp engines just to have it go a little bit faster. Uh, and then power plant right here. So, as you can see, our FTL speed is 66.9. Six, yeah, uh, we're going to delete those two because those are kind of heavy for our ship here deploy those um I'm trying to remember how I had this set up because I actually have gone through and designed this I just never saved it now I know we had these here yes we had those there um now when we get the frigate um, research completed uh, this will all change because we'll actually have enough room for so we'll delete all these warp engines and put in large or medium warp engines I believe they they are called, they're actually called but we'll put those in and they actually uh, increase the I didn't want to put the one of these here. Because it's got the rail guns and the missiles, it needs a lot of power. Or, not a lot of power, but a lot of ordnance, because these actually shoot half a round, but the missiles are what actually do a lot of the dam- well, not a lot of the damage, but a lot of the ordnance drain, because each- all six of these drain one ordnance per. I'm gonna put another one here. Actually, I'm trying to remember how I had this, because I think I, I want to say I had plating here. I don't think so. 
Because I know I had the command module here. Yeah, I had to have had... Or it's here. No. But this I have 282. Hmm. Uh, we'll put ordnance there for now. And when we come back to this once we get the, the frigate... Um... Design, we can actually come back and just modify that because that's going to actually up the power because of that one big engine. Now I'm going to name it the Miko class Corvette. For those of you that are Halo fans, you actually, um, or well, C O R E. For those of you that are Halo fans, you will actually know that the Miko class Corvette is actually the Corvette from the Halo series. Um, yeah, I'm taking a lot of this stuff because, again, I say I am a gaming nerd and sci fi nerd, so Halo, Stargate, all that stuff's fun to me. Uh, so, that's our ship. Um, it's all saved and ready to go. So, we're going to exit here. We're going to go into click J, go into our fleet design. Up here to the Corvette. Right in the now, I know a lot of people might realize that, yeah, my fleet center's here and on these fighters, but right now I don't have a big fleet, so it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to put the Makos there. I'm going to put one here and one here. And these, are gonna, these three are kind of going to be the core of our fleet. I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one here. Now that's two, four, six, seven, seven Corvettes. Now I know that this is more than enough to kill the cruiser that we're going to face, that we, we've been facing at Ariel, or Ariel's, whatever it's called. So we're gonna build those, and those are gonna build at wherever they can, really. Uh -huh. So we're gonna back out, we're gonna unpause, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to get out. But since First Fleet's already about halfway there, um, we're going to jump the fighters, at least, into the outskirts of the system. We're going to take our colonizer and put him right on the outskirts. Hello. Oh, so that means our our spy didn't was not able to get technology from Raleigh, and they found him, which kind of sucks. Um, now he didn't die. Most of the time, when they do that, and they're caught, um, you have a chance of the, the person getting away or dying, essentially, which is normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna research these two, and we're gonna try again. Now, I know it's making them angry, but the thing is, I, I don't care. <sighs> if they're going to get angry, they're going to get angry. Not much I can do about that, and I don't care. I'm probably going to wipe them off the face of the map anyways, and so yeah, I don't care. Now... I know I built a couple of scout ships. There they are. Go explore the galaxy. Now, Fleet 8. I actually want to go back into my fleet management. Because, like I said, I want... Now, I just randomly put these guys in here. Because I don't really care right now. Now, so... There. Yeah. They're all in part of Fleet 8 now, so now I can tell kind of where my guys are on Fleet 8. Uh, now they're all... Oh, they are not. Colonist transport, set you to... Colonist transport. Colonist transport. And they're going like that. Now we're going to ships. Hide the platforms, but we don't really need that. So... Awaiting orders. Colonists, colonists, colonists. 
pause, 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 pause. Okay, so I want to change two of these guys to production. Ooh. So, this can pop up every once in a while. It's basically, you, fi you find the Reverend system, it's... You're gonna have this in the game, no matter what. It's always gonna be the same system. Um, it's pre-warp species, and it looks like they're getting ready. So basically, what this is is it's basically a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Um, I usually go with the encoder radio message with eleven similar symbols. Uh, broadcast the original message along with your message. Yeah. You broadcast the original message along with your message containing the next prime number in the sequence. Soon after, you begin to receive a stream of data from the planet. Music images, video recordings, mathematical formulas. They're trying to communicate with us, and unfortunately I didn't do xenolinguistics. Xenolinguistics. Um, to do that, and uh, just for the hell of it, we're going to send a diplomatic shuttle. A few minutes of arrival, it's emergency beacon activates and begin broadcasting a mayday plea. So basically, they just tried to kill us. Um, so yeah. Small jump transport, colonizer, where's the other? I need at least one more ship to be. Yep, there we go. So they're gonna do trade goods and colonists. Fleet 1 will select. Nobody else is really doing anything. So, what we're going to do is, I think Hamad is still building those. Which is going to increase the speed at which they do that. Um, bah, bah, bah. That jump scout is going to keep going. Okay, so it looks like one of the Corvettes just finished. No, it didn't finish. Earth is only building one of my Corvettes, really? So they finished, they finished. Now, I'm trying to remember how this works. Oh, I want to keep these guys going, that's the main, the main thing. Um, should be, no, psh, damn it. Um... So they're still building the ships at their respective bases. So I'm just going to keep speeding these up. I think these are higher level than I made them last time. Which I don't think makes sense, but... Now I want to check this. Next population. Aerials is still better than Earth, which is great. Now I really want to get this. This is why I'm kind of focusing my concentration on this, because... The fertility is high, so now a lot of people say, "Oh, get, get like Blade One because it's got rich, it's got good richness, so you can build a lot of ships and have good production." Yeah, that's great, but the way I have these planets set, also, I don't even know where Blade is. If I can find it. Oh, yeah, so Blade's way the hell over here. Which means I technically would have to go Ariel's Yagari. I believe. Not Daimos. But yeah, I'd have to go from Yagari to Blade. Which I think would be great because it essentially splits the map in half. Which. Yeah, I don't find it too bad. But still, I have to go Ariel's first, and actually, everybody should be building. Oh, that's the wrong one. Everybody, yeah, everybody's building the Mega Quest Corvette, or I know Ariel's is still building its. There. Now, let's get the Corvette out. So everybody has that plus one research. So our minimum research right now, our minimum research speed for all the crap that we have built is currently three. So we will always get for every single turn three research. So that's a really good thing. Once you get our yields, it'll be four. The more plants we get, the better. Um because no matter kinda no matter what 
we set them as, whether they're research or production or whatever. No, I actually, now that I think of it, I think I have, no, well, it's set to core. So if you just go to this, core, core, core. Yeah, so they're all set to core. Because I, I have a feeling that's, yeah, so that's the base minimum right now, because we're building at the same time. And it takes the same time as range. Okay, so he didn't steal anything again. Um, let's try with the second highest in scientific, which is the polyps. Now, they actually have decent, wow, they're actually number three in military. So what we're going to do is we're going to click him and we're going to steal tech from him. Because a lot of times it's easier to get stuff from other people because they don't train their guys and whatnot. Oh. Um. So, yeah, that kind of crashed. Um.